When you bring a new product to a market and a customer doesn't understand that, you need a very, very strong design language, you need a very strong form language, you need to be able to convey that message very clearly. And I think that's the exciting opportunity for a designer. So the designer is the uh, kind of the bridge between A to B, right? So it's uh, sometimes uh, between uh, customers and then um, the uh, producer, or sometimes the engineer and then the market and sales. We need to uh, quickly answer the needs and the requirement from the, for the customers. The exciting thing about design, particularly at Nissan, is we're never trying to just evolve one thing into a, another uh, iteration. We're always trying to challenge ourselves to come up with something new. This is the um, Qashqai concept, which we developed at Nissan Design Europe for um, Geneva Motor Show. And the ideation behind this is to uh, consider how Qashqai can move forward in the future. What, what can we do to this car that can uh, add excitement uh, and continue to push the market segment forward? This car here has the first piloted drive. So we have the, the new global steering wheel, we have the pilot button and the interface with the, with, for the driver through the speedo and the display. So this is the first opportunity for us to share with everyone how we're going to bring this concept to the, to the future. The interesting thing about designing in, in the automotive world is it's, it's a huge competition. So uh, Nissan Design Europe is one of several satellite studios and we have Nissan Design America, Nissan Design Brazil, Nissan Design China and all, all of our studios besides obviously Global Design Center in, in Tokyo uh, may be involved in one car so for example Qashqai might be a global product so every studio will have a sketch uh, proposal in each studio there will be several designers and each designer wants to win because it's a global uh, product as well, global car, global studio influence, multicultural. Um, so this sense of competition is very exciting. So I'll be sitting with the designer probably after he's, he's done his initial layout of a sketch. Uh, he'll probably bring that over. It could be anything. It can be from a, on a sometimes it's on a post-it note and uh, I'll get that and then I've got to scan that in, put it as a backplate on my system and then I'll start creating the curves with the designer straight off his sketch. We then send that model, once it's finished, to the clay department who then mill a uh, quarter scale or a third scale model. Then, then the designer and the, and the uh, design managers can go to the model and actually feel and touch the surfaces and get a real idea of the perspective of the car. And then the clay modelers can um, input a bit of a uh, manual work on there, a bit, of, a bit of tender love and care. And then it comes back to us as a as, as a scan data, which is um, a very clever sort of camera that can take this 3D net around the, the car. That comes back to me, and then I'll have to then put some nice cleaner surfaces that fit to this um, scan data. That process will keep going on. Uh, it could happen, as I say, 10 times um, before the actual car is finished. We will probably get involved with colour and trim at an early stage with that 3D element as well. So they will come in and we'll start putting um, some ideas for paints and for leathers, uh, for trim finishes. So we can put different kinds of carbon fibre on. This can be all done in the visualisation process. We're lucky to be part of a global organisation. So if, if there's an area that we recognise is being developed, so for example our, our pilot drive, our autonomous drive, if that's an activity that's going forward then we, we will already be investigating that for our teams in Japan. Um, and usually in Europe as well, so and quite often America. So we've got the fortunate um, situation of being influenced by all of those markets and they're all addressing those future trends and we'll understand um, through the, the sort of research they've done how that's going to affect us. So whether it's just um, an interface and information or whether it's something the customer has to do to interact or in the future as you saw in our concept vehicle at Geneva, maybe the, the whole steering wheel is going to move away, maybe the interior is going to be a completely different environment. And I think that's a really exciting opportunity as a designer because then 
this this product can completely change uh, and it, it could be something quite different.